Split decision MMA UK here at Ice FC 2. We're just in the second fight of the night and the first unified amateur rules contest go down. I'm here with the winner, James Reese, with the first round on boy. Fantastic finish. Thank you. Give us your thoughts on the fight. Uh, I knew it was going to come at me. Uh, I knew, obviously, he took a year out and he's been training with Andy the Vance gym. So I knew he was going to come at me, he was going to press me. Uh, basically, my coaches just told me to keep patient, keep closing the clinch. And I, I did that, and um, obviously I went for the takedown. And I, I, was, I pulled guard, and I was happy you know, pulling guard. Uh, my coach, Adam Lindop, has basically uh, we spent so, so much time off my back. And the idea was if the submission wasn't there, to get straight back up to my feet. Uh, and get the fight standing where I knew I could take it. But obviously the submission that was there, I didn't know the submission was there, and when I got the submission on, uh, I didn't know it was fully on, and when my coach was saying, uh, just pull it, straighten your legs, I knew that was it. I, uh, so it was good directions, and obviously I followed it well, and he got the tap from it, so, yeah. And, um, well, the last time I saw you, I think you just mentioned it then, was FCC when you fought Callum Gagan. Yeah. And so how does it feel to come to go through, through like hurting your arm and then come back with that victory and getting an arm bar? It's kind of like comes in like yeah, full course, circle. Yeah. Obviously, yeah, the, the arm bar, which obviously broke my elbow, was bad. And to be honest, I, I was close to giving up MMA. I, did, I didn't want to do it anymore. But I know I'm going off topic, but my, my, me, my heart in credit, it can't go out enough to Sue King. Um, she's brought me in. She's picked me up. And she's basically she's been a fantastic mentor, basically like a second mum to me. Uh, so to do that and then to come in and win my next fight by submission, it just proves like how hard I've been training uh, and where I've come from now and then. So to, to be honest, it's it's only up in here for a mission. It's only up in here. And um, we saw last, I think it was last week you had a boxing fight as well yeah. that you won as well. It's been a good couple of weeks for you. Yeah, yeah that's two wins in two weeks. Uh, obviously my teammate Marson won on ACB as well. But yeah, I fought boxing, it tests my stand up. Uh, and again, got to thank my coaches, Hazzy. When they say jump, I say how high. If they think I can fight, if they, if they know I can fight, then I'll fight to win boxing one week and then to fight uh, on a cage the next week. It's been good. Plus, I fought at two different weight classes. I fought at 70 one week and 66 the next. And it made both cuts easy, so it's a testament to prove of how hard I've come and where I've come from there on out. So I'm looking forward to it. We've, we've definitely seen the improvement. Um, you know, you've found so far. Just sum up a little bit more. You know, like you went through a rough time with the. You know, you were going to give up MMA. Yeah. You know, how good is it to fight for them to, to start training with them? Should I say and just like just change you and but like you know give you a chance to focus on your MMA and your boxing and then it all just like like they say hard work pays off is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I say how it pays off. But um, I say I used to bounce around from gym to gym and just having. I, I I don't call the gym the gym anymore because it's not the gym's home. The, gym, the only thing Sue doesn't do for me is cook me tea. Other than that, but she, she, she like my second mum. But no, she basically we've got a, a game, a, a set, a set days of what we're doing every day, and we're doing that. If I do something good in the gym, I will turn around and go, okay, we're going to work on that. I'm working off my backspin specialty, triangles, two arm bars, and not to mention they've given me my own class. So I'm now teaching judo and beginners MMA, and to do that is. It's, it's really goes show what they put into me to trust and how far they've seen me, uh, how far they've seen me grow as a fighter. So, uh, yeah, I'd say, my, uh, <laughs> Rascal's not the rascal without his teammates. So, it's, yeah, I just want to thank everyone, yeah. And a point for thanking them, is there anybody else you want to thank or give a shout out to? Oh, there's a couple of guys. Um, I want to say thank you to my, uh, my sponsors, Evolution, Toxic, obviously, Sue King, Adam Lindop, Damien. Marcin Byerston has come with me today, obviously you've interviewed. Carl Evo Evans, my boxing coach. Uh, Kath Brooks, I've got all my teammates who I train with. Matthew Pickering, um, Matthew Pickering is going to be the next big thing. I'll say that now. Um, he helped me cut from 87 kilograms to 66 in the space of three months. He helped me cut that weight. Firstly, all my teammates, my friends, my family. Yeah, I'm a girlfriend for being so patient for me. There's only so many times she can get double under hooked in bed, so. Uh, but no, basically, and uh, thanks for you for taking the time out. Uh, Good decision MMA, big, big. Well, I can only dream of that. Yeah. You've got a great victory. Always great to see you fight. I'm happy to see you get that win. And uh, Pleasure. have a good night. Thank you, guys.